Hi friends! Welcome back to Artful Homemaking. Today why don't we go through my closet and I will show you what's in my wardrobe for the summer. If we haven't met yet, my name is Joy. I'm a wife, a mom of five, and a homemaker, and I'm so glad you're here. Okay, let's get started on my closet. This is what it looked like. A big jumbled mess. I still have some winter clothes, some sweaters, and also some things that just don't fit and I don't wear them very often. Also in my closet I have a pretty large antique dresser and my bedroom is pretty small so it seemed to work better to have the dresser in the closet. So what I decided to do is just go through every single drawer in my dresser, take every item out, and then I'm going to go through each thing and decide what to keep. The past few years due to my autoimmune disorder I've gained quite a bit of weight and of course I still have some clothes that I've been hanging on to hoping that they will fit again but now I think it's time just to get rid of those to let them go and just to work with the figure that I currently have and if I ever am able to lose weight which at this point I'm not sure how that would happen but if it ever works out to lose weight, then I'll just replace whatever I need to replace. But hanging on to items that don't fit is kind of discouraging, and I really don't have space for that. I've mentioned before, we have a small house, and I have a small bedroom. I don't have a lot of storage, so it makes the most sense just to go ahead and get rid of things that I can't currently wear. And here's a random candy cane in my drawer. Um, I was keeping some candy canes at Christmas time so that my kids wouldn't eat them all and I think one dropped into my drawer. But <laughs> you never know what you'll find in my dresser drawers. Sometimes random things end up in there. But anyway, now I have everything emptied out of the dresser and so I'm just going through each thing, putting it in different categories. I had gloves and some winter wear, some scarves and sweaters and other things that I'm just going to put away until next winter. So I'm just folding all of those in neat piles and then I'm going to put them in a bin and just get them out of the way for the summer. I think I will leave out a couple of lighter sweaters, the cotton ones, because sometimes I do still need them if I'm in a cold building or something. So just one or two, but these heavier sweaters, they're going to be put away until colder weather comes back. So now that I have everything folded neatly, I'm going to put it back in the drawers. Some of these sweaters I decided I'm going to store in this bottom drawer of my dresser. It's not a drawer that I need for everyday use, so I'm going to put things that I'm going to use next fall and winter in the bottom drawer. and then. In this second to last drawer, I'm putting some swimwear and some tank tops, layering pieces that I have, and then some t-shirts that I use for working out and stuff like that are going to go in that drawer. And this next drawer, I'm just putting a couple pair of jeans and some t-shirts that I wear more regularly, and then the top drawer. I'm going to put night clothes and workout clothes. Now I'm just going to remove everything from my closet that's hanging and I'll go through each one of those items and decide what stays and what's going to be put away or donated. So now it's time to put everything back that's staying. I have aprons and everyday dresses that I'm going to be keeping in the closet. So this is what it looks like now, now that it's been neatened up and purged a little bit. In the front I have dresses that I wear on a regular basis. Some of them are like house dresses, some of them are church dresses, but I have all of those in the front. These are just some of my favorites and we'll go through each one in detail in just a few minutes. But I love the colors that I have this year. These are dresses that I enjoy wearing and 
I feel reasonably good in them, so they're going to stay. Also, if you notice some piano playing in the background, my daughter's having piano practice right now while I record this, so hopefully it won't be too distracting in the background. This first dress that I have on here is one of my favorites. It's a tan and white check dress made of 100% cotton and I just love how comfortable and loose it is. It's perfect for a day of housework and it would also be great for just a casual afternoon like at the park or something. And I love pairing this dress with this apron. This is one of my favorite loose aprons. I, just, I love how loose it is. It's kind of a, I think it's a one size fits all. So, I, and I will put links to these things in the description box. This next dress is one that I made last summer. Last summer I set out to make five handmade dresses and this is one of those and I'll put a link to the pattern I used for this dress. It's made of a linen cotton blend and it's one of my favorite house dresses. I love how comfortable and loose it is also. I love the cap sleeve on this pattern. It just fits really well and it's just kind of minimal. I love it. So this dress, this green dress, is another dress that I made last summer with the same pattern and it's a, I think a linen, maybe rayon blend. It drapes really well and this is another easy dress to put on for housework or you know working in the kitchen or just it's just a great everyday dress and this is another dress made out of the same pattern this time in a navy blue kind of tweed linen blend fabric it has pockets I love the pockets on this dress and I added small ties now I have another dress made out of the same pattern this is a black tweed looking type of linen and this is an apron that I also made. You can find the pattern on my blog and there's a tutorial here on YouTube. I'll also put a link in the description for this apron tutorial. It's one of my favorites to wear. It offers full coverage to keep your clothes clean and this apron is made in a linen cotton blend. And these are some flowers from my garden. And this is the final handmade dress that I made last summer. It's made out of a navy blue linen. And this is another one of my favorite aprons. I found this apron years ago. It's 100% linen, so I really pretty much reserve it for baking and things that aren't going to get it extremely stained because I just love it so much. I love the fabric and I love how loose it is with my figure I find I just gravitate toward looser clothes. They kind of hide some of my figure issues. Anyway, I just, the apron's a favorite. This dress is a linen cotton blend dress with pockets and a little bit longer of a sleeve and a V neckline. It's another great basic house dress. And this is another loose apron that I found on Amazon and I'll put a link to where I found that. It's supposed to be a dark gray but it kind of has a blue undertone. This cheery gold tone rayon dress is another favorite. I usually wear this to church or when I'm going somewhere. I apologize also for the dark lighting. As soon as I got my camera out the sun went away and I didn't have any additional lights to use. But anyway, I love this dress. Again, I love how loose it is and it's very comfortable and it looks very summery. This rayon dress is another favorite. It does have longer sleeves, so I probably won't be able to wear it in the hottest days of summer. I can't, I do sometimes just pull the sleeves up and it works really well in like a building that's 
cooler. I do, I wear this one to church quite often. This basic black maxi dress, it's kind of a rayon knit dress, is so comfortable and it's, it's sleeveless and I don't wear sleeveless very often, but I do like to wear this with a jean jacket or a sweater in cooler months. For summer, it would also be great, you know, if you were at the beach, something like that. This dress was my Easter dress this year, and I love the, I think they called it beige and white checks. It's like a gingham. This dress was very inexpensive, and I really liked the look of it. This type of dress is not really the best on my figure, and yeah, I think it looks cute with a straw hat. <laughs> but to make it fit my figure a little better, I did remove the elastic waistband, and I like that better. So I prefer dresses on my body. I love wearing them. I think they're so much more romantic and interesting, but sometimes you just need a good pair of jeans. And so I have these jeans that I got from Amazon. I'll put a link to them. They're kind of more like a jegging, and they're super comfortable if you have waist, kind of a larger waist that makes regular jeans uncomfortable. So I often will wear a pair of these stretchy jeans with an oversized t-shirt and an apron. It's kind of a basic outfit that I wear pretty often with my Birkenstocks. So I'll put a link to this apron and these basic knit tops that I have. They're kind of long and kind of look a little better than a regular t-shirt on my figure. I have several different styles, one with a round neckline, one with a v-neck, and they kind of have this little gathered spot on the bottom, which I love. I'll put a link to each one of these if I can find them. And I do invest in black because it's so basic. This is another outfit I sometimes wear. This is leggings with an oversized shirt and some canvas shoes. These are barefoot minimal shoes and I'll put a link to those. But this is just a super comfy outfit. As far as shoes go, I just have a few pair that I wear on a regular basis. These are just some fake Birkenstocks. And then I have the white canvas minimal shoes and I these are so comfortable. And then I have these clogs. These are my favorite shoes of all. I wear these not around the house. I wear them whenever I'm going to church or if I'm going to be out somewhere. Just somewhere. They just add a little bit of something to your outfit. And here my cat is helping me get some video footage of these shoes. But I'll put a link to these. I found my pair on eBay and they were a return item, so I got a really good deal on them, but they're also on Amazon. And she's trying to make holes in my skirt. So that's what's in my wardrobe for this summer. I hope you enjoyed the little wardrobe tour and thanks so much for helping me clean up my closet. I'm really happy with the items that are in there now and they're things that I wear on a regular basis and that always feels good. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.